The 2023 Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo is just a few days away. For many pilots, flying into Sun and Fun is a lifelong dream. To help make your arrival easier and less stressful, let's take a bird's eye view of the procedure. First and foremost, preparation is key. Before you depart for Sun and Fun, read the 2023 Aerospace Expo NOTAM and become familiar with it. Have a copy of the NOTAM printed out and accessible to you for reference in flight. There are a number of changes to the Expo campus this year, so review where you anticipate parking and the ATC procedures that will help ensure clear and concise communications. Be sure to have your intended aircraft parking sign that will be displayed in the windshield upon landing. It will help our volunteers know exactly where you would like to park your aircraft. Pilots are expected to adhere to all published Sun and Fun arrival and departure procedures and ATC instructions. Failure to do so may jeopardize your safety and the safety of others. The video presented here is for the VFR day arrival procedure. All aircraft will use the Lake Parker arrival. Please check the NOTAM for IFR arrival procedures. Ultralights, helicopters, jets, and warbirds will use the arrival as published in the NOTAM. As you approach Sun and Fun 20 miles out, begin listening to arrival ATIS for landing and special information. Then monitor Lake Parker arrival. Here you see Lake Parker, and you can see the power plant. We're approaching from the south. If VFR holding is necessary, ATC will instruct you, refer to the NOTAM for information regarding VFR holding at Lake Hancock. As the arrival of the Sun and Fun begins, you will turn left and proceed southbound over the west shore of Lake Parker. Hold a counterclockwise path around the lake shore. Ensure your landing lights are on and landing gear is down. Air Traffic Control will contact you in the vicinity of Lake Parker's North Shore using your aircraft color and type to provide sequencing and other arrival information. You may be asked to rock your wings to acknowledge their instructions. Please don't transmit unless requested by ATC. Just listen. You will fly in trail to the airport, no side-by-side -side flying. When instructed to begin the arrival from the north shore of Lake Parker, you'll depart the power plant flying westbound. You'll fly about a half mile to Interstate I-4. Follow I-4 for about three miles. Then you'll see a wedding cake water tower and a regular water tower in a ball shape. Turn southbound at that point, keeping the cake tower to your left and the ball tower to your right. You'll head directly to the Lakeland Airport Control Tower. It's about three and a half miles ahead now. Monitor Lakeland North Tower frequency. Listen for ATC instructions. The NOTAM has all of the frequencies listed. Overfly the large V-shaped building and continue toward the Blue Roofed Airport Terminal Building. Then plan to turn downwind into the traffic pattern. Remember, do not land on the main wide runway unless specifically directed by ATC. You'll most likely land on the taxiway that's being used as a runway, and you may be instructed to land on either the green or orange dot. After landing, remain on the hard surface unless directed by a parking flagman. Monitor sun and fun ground advisory frequency. Display your window sign and follow the visual instructions. There you have it. Welcome to Sun and Fun.